Hey guys, uh, welcome back to uh, Tech Time with T. Um, today uh, we have 2011 Nissan Xterra, and we ha we did a diagnostic uh, testing, and we got a code of P0340, which is the uh, camshaft position sensor. Basically, what you need is the um, 10 millimeter socket and a ratchet. Just take out one screw, replace it, and you're all set to go. And we got the sensor's part number, it's CSS1594. And it, it, it's the, on the uh, passenger side. Wow. Basically, uh, make sure you uh, basically you get to pop up the hood. And that's where you get access. It's actually, it's behind the engine. That's where the sensors are. So um, basically, uh, we can't really show it on while I'm removing it. Um, it's very tight. You gotta feel it with the um, your your hand. Basically, that's what it looked like. This is a to uh, where the wire harness goes. It's on the bottom of it, and um, this actually go into the engine. And here's the, the screws. It's, it uh, that's how it looked like. So you gotta use the um, 10 millimeter um, wrench to take it out. The um, screws, and then um, was out just used by your hand, nice and easy. Take that out first. It's very extremely tight to do this all right so uh once you get the the screws out and you want to do is uh, like try wiggle out a little bit and then one and because it's it's hard to take it out because there's an overring also like uh, very tight so basically once you get it out a little bit loose you want to twist it out because there's a wire harness and like right back of it also so you twist it out and pull it off from the engine and that's how you that's how i got it out on this uh sensor and um, once you get it out, you, it's a little easier access. You just um, squeeze down the um, the clip, and then you just pull out the wire harness, and you get out the sensor. So just, um, when you take it out the uh, the wire harness, um, you I actually use the needle nose plier to squeeze the clip, and then you pull out the wires. So that's what I did. It's very tough to use by just your your fingers to. Uh, squeeze it and, and pull it out you gotta use the needle nose plier to take it out so that's what I did and pretty very 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 tight right in back of that uh, engine hey guys um, before you go ahead and uh, get out the sensors I would recommend is three things you have to remove which I'm about to show you so basically uh, one is the the hose um, the, the small hose right here which connect to the manifold and what you need to use is the, uh, the um, the needle nose plier to, to uh, remove the, there's a clip here and then you take out the hose that's one of them the next uh, recommendation I would recommend is this, this wire harness right here it's right under the hose as you can see that's one it's kind of blocking it away blocking away also um, this is what it is right here to show you and the, uh, the uh, second uh, wire harness you want to remove is right here this one Right to right next to the sensor itself, so that's where you want to remove. That way you have a little better access. So there's three things you would I would recommend to take out before you go to um, figure out the sensor. You can see that's what you have to do. Like uh, squeeze the clips right there like that with a needle nose plier, and then pull out the sensor. That's what it is. It's very tight back here, so it's doable. That's what we did. Was uh, you remove the harness, just uh, pull out the sensor and twist it a little bit. There we go. That's how you do it. Also, um, to make a little more space, I actually take out another um, wire, wire harness here, right next to uh, right next to it. So that's what I did. So that way we have more space to uh, work with. Okay. All right, guys. Uh, you gotta feel this one. Um, I can't really see it because it's right in the back of the engine. So basically, what I'm doing first is I put a sensor in to the engine block first. You just slide into the slot. You can see right here, um, and then you slide it in. But one, you gotta push out the um, the wire, big wire harness right behind it also first. Then you slide it in. Once you slide it in, I'm gonna put the screws in right here to. Uh, um, Stabilize it and um, also once I finish that I can put the wire harness back in. All right, that's what I'm doing um, Gotta feel it 
There you go, that's going in, that's good. All right, as you can see, I'm actually laying on an, uh, an engine right now, and my hand, my right hand actually uh, inserting the uh, sensor in, and I'm putting the screws back on, so that's what I'm doing. Gotta feel it. Put the screw back on. Just gotta feel where the holes is. Here we go. Use by your hand first. Then you use a wrench after. So uh, once you put the screw in a little bit by your hand, um, I know it's not tight right now, it's really loose. So you want to use a 10 millimeter socket and um, tighten a little more. So that's what I'm doing. There you go. Because the room's not, there's no room at all. So I'm just using the socket only, the 10 millimeter socket. Tighten it up. I think that was good. There we go. All right. Oh good. Okay. So you really want to tight it, you use the um the, the wrench. Wrench ratchet. Ten millimeter. That's what I'm doing. You don't be too tight. That's good enough. Okay. You don't want to strip the screws either. We're good. Yep, very tight. So once the screw is tight, um, then the sensor's in place, you want to snap back in the uh, wire harness. That's what I'm doing. You got to feel the same thing. There we go. Sorry guys, um, it was a very tight space. Hopefully we uh, did very well with the video. So. Um, it's very extremely tight and um, you want to make sure you're able to see where I work like try to get it and stuff like that and um, it's uh, very very apologize if the footage is not very clear to you um, hopefully you got a good idea of it at least but uh, we will um, put it up for, uh, for you to view and hopefully you like it and it will help you out as well and hopefully enough detail for you to actually do it yourself. So once you finish your job, um, make sure you test drive the car before you get back to the customer. Um, basically, um, the cab camshaft sensor it just a um, basically it make the engine move I guess and um, so for example if you are just driving in it and then you sometimes you if the camshaft doesn't work properly it just shut down basically that's what that's what happened and hopefully that's not gonna happen and that's what we do that's why we make sure we want to test drive for it before we get to the customer. Let's go for a test drive. Alright, whenever you're ready. Yeah. The car is moving so Let's go and do it. Good. So far, so far the um, we're actually moving. The car's moving is a good sign uh, because if that sensor is not working properly, it will shut down. So um, it would stall. That's what the um, why we need a work properly uh, cam shaft uh, sensor. So so far so good. So okay. Always test drive your car um, when you finish your work. So, you want to make sure all the customers are uh, safe while they're driving uh, back home or wherever they have to go. So, this car is good. 
it's not stalling or anything it's worked proper way the engine sounds good so we are good to go and give back to uh, call it back to the customer it is a beautiful day nice sunny breezy sunny day today it's good for a joy ride distant ride I guess but we're not, we're not gonna do that because uh, we actually uh, just drive a uh, customer's car so we don't want to do that all right let's go back to the customer guys uh, finally completed the job um, one thing I um, would recommend is uh, make sure you have a uh, extension with this uh, step stool over here um, step ladder um, also you need a, um, a wrench ratchet 10 millimeter wrench ratchet that's what you use and also a 10 millimeter socket that is it that's how you change um, cam cap cam shaft sensor on 2011 Nissan Actera. Thank you. Have a good day. But do not forget to thumbs up, subscribe, share, and comments below. Thank you. And thank you for your support. Hi, everyone. I'm Janan from Janan Issa Photography. And just wanted to give a big thank you to T from Tech Time with T. Um, he, as you've seen in several of his videos, he's worked on many projects with my car and I, um, I love it. I love his work. He does a great job. He takes care of me and, and making sure he gets the job done right. Um, he's very flexible and very reasonably priced. Um, and I'm very satisfied with the work that he's done to keep my car running. Um, and I definitely recommend him for anyone who's looking to get a good quality work. Um, for a reasonable price. Thanks! Today I have, well this year anyway, I got Asian pear, cherry trees, three cherry trees, and some blueberries, especially the uh, Asian pears. It's ridiculous, there's so many. And it's just like a one or two branch only. The rest of the branch, no pears. So not sure why. Not sure why at all. But could be the wind, could be the sun. I'm not sure what, why it is only like a couple branch has bunch of pears and the rest none. No idea. Mother nature. <laughs>